Hello and welcome to day one of Heart Saint Ascension Journeys. So I'm Patrick and I'm here in paradise, in the jungle. And it's morning, so usually I'm not that early making videos, but it felt from the morning very clear. From the moment I woke up, it had to be before nine o'clock or before eight o'clock. And so here we are. The whole theme is maybe unusual for you. And yes, while many of us have chosen and understood that we are on an ascension journey, heart synced is a little bit our thing. So today we're gonna look beyond the concept. And yes, it's all inspired, so it's not prepared. I haven't written a script. I'm just allowing spirit to bring it in. The second part of this eight day video series is the 5D thinking. So with ascension obviously goes a different way of living. And again, thinking has become a very important concept that we will take beyond today. Heart synced. Now we're going to start with concepts. What do concepts mean? Concepts are mainly ideas for the mind to investigate, to analyze, to interpret, to make associations, to find a story so that the mind kind of gets it. The mind is, of course, multifaceted. So we have a part of the mind that is, for the lack of a better word, on a higher level of intelligence and just laughs about us all. But there is the mind of the Homo sapiens, which is what we supposedly are and what we're shifting away from. So men and women of the mind. So we like things clear, you know, this is, this is a rail, this is a tree, these are birds. We like things concrete. We like things factual. And so in that quest, we have created a lot of facts that are maybe not true, just because for us, to understand the wonder, the mystery of life, our true essence, energy, it's a bit scary. So of course, many sciences like quantum physics, biophysics and all these things, they go kind of beyond. So beyond ascension is actually just a shift an evolution that has been foretold, predicted, whatever we want to call it, for 10,000s of years. Whether it's from Atlantis or Lemuria, whether it's from indigenous people, or just the ones like Nostradamus who got the insight. So when we take things beyond a concept, we are no longer attached. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to call it, what is happening is a shift. And the shift is a shift in consciousness. And when shifts are happening, one thing comes to an end and another thing arises. So ascension is no difference. When we heart sink it, it means we go into the heart. And heart math has done, I think, 30, 40, 50 years of research now to really tell us that actually there is more intelligent cells in the heart. But that too is a concept. That too is making associations to keep the mind occupied. But all of that doesn't really matter. It is how you observe it. 
So when you observe without being the observer, when you are in the consciousness without having to think what it is, this is when you go beyond the concept. So 5D thinking or thinking starts right there. We don't try to control, associate, conceptualize, making things all cause and effect. We're allowing, we're simply allowing the magic to unfold, the consciousness to reach us. So we're going within. And this is what I want to invite you this morning. The light is good, I hope, in a way, but you can't see our beautiful Baman Vasi at the back. So I like to connect to the Baman Vasi. It's kind of our sacred mountain, has a lot of stories, of course, a lot of mystery. And even though you might not be able to see it now, I'm inviting you to come with me beyond the concept of the mountain, beyond the sacredness, beyond ascension. Just come with me into the heart and allow yourself to go within and beyond whatever you think things should be or could be or the way you want them to be. So you may want to close your eyes and allow yourself and help yourself to just go within, beyond concepts, but into the truth and the resonance of your heart. What's happening when the concepts are fading, when you are simply here in your own presence, just connecting to be conscious from within, connecting to the invisible, to the unmanifest, to the unnameable and the boundless. Bringing through with the guides the language that takes you into the space that is not a way that is actually right here just a different perspective a different way of observation from within Ato kalare ame ato ya 
Pata calore mea, oh, oh, oh yeah. Pata que atora mea tara, tara yo, patea oh yeah. Pata nea, pata nea toria. Just come deeper into your presence, into this observing, into this new connection. in this shift, in this unfolding, into that letting go and embracing the wonder, the magic and the mystery. So allow your vastness without name, just your I am to expand. to expand into the wholeness of all. The entireness of the universe, the entireness of your being. So grounded in this body, in this life. And yet limitless in its true expression and beingness. Just be here for another moment. This I am is not going away. 
It's always with you beyond the concept of ascension and evolution of the shift. And you are part of it all. When you're ready, open your eyes again. How do you feel? What is going on in your being? It might be morning for you too. It might be midday. It might be evening. Just go about your life. And be aware there is something beyond the concept of what is happening of the shift that we're going through, of whatever is happening in your life. And you are it. And you know. It's not the knowledge that you have learned in school and university and your work. It's the inner knowing. That voice within that is connected to everything there is. The one that we can maybe not grasp with our trained minds and mindsets, but what we very much understand in our hearts. As there we can see from within the connection to it all visible and the invisible, the unnameable and the nameable, the mystery and the wonder and the facts. So have a beautiful day, have a beautiful evening and thank you for being here on this first day. Heart Sync Ascension Journeys and today it was beyond the concept. Thank you so much, many blessings from my heart to yours. And of course, make your comments. Let me know how this all works for you. Subscribe. You know how to do it all. And I see you again tomorrow for day two.